I'm back. Guess what time it is? Hair straightening time. <laughs> I think everybody is at work today. I've never had um, so little DMs today. It's just so quiet. I suppose it's just a Thursday. Regular Thursday afternoon in January. So hopefully somebody's going to join today. Hi. And new hair and new straighteners. No more green in any form. <laughs> It's about as exciting as it's going to get today. Um, right, let me sort myself out. How is everybody? I'm very well, thank you. You're a little bit further away. I needed more space today on my counter. Um, so you're kind of a little bit further away, so I might have to squint ag again, <laughs> even with my contacts in. Yes, Ramstein today. We'd really have been in a Ramstein mood this week, which isn't a bad thing. What is everybody doing today? Because everybody seems to be away from Instagram, being very busy. Lots of Ramstein fans, I'm so impressed. So I have some good followers then. I can't put my glasses on because I've got contacts in, so that would kind of defeat the object. Although have you ever done that where you've got your contacts in and you've automatically put your glasses on and you've thought, oh my fucking god, what is wrong? <laughs> I've done that quite a few times, it's probably quite alarming. So I'm straightening my bush today. <laughs> I'm dying, got the flu. Oh, bugger. I was dying last week. Um, I managed to lose five pounds and I think I've just pretty much gained it all back within a, the weekend, really. So there was no point in being ill at all. Right, have I got everything I need? Hello, people. Is it true that you will move to Switzerland? That is the intention. Um, I am desperately saving money. So I can apply to do my PhD after I finish my master's in Switzerland. But um, the whole thing with Brexit is making me concerned that it's going to be more difficult. Because even though Switzerland isn't in the EU, it's easier to apply to live there if you are within the EU. So if anybody's got any tips on moving abroad or anybody who has moved from the UK to Switzerland, um, please message me. Or if you live in Switzerland, you want to give me some tips. Um, but we'll be intending to move in um, around next September. That is the plan, after I finish my studies here. Um, trying to find where I've put everything. Oh, there we go, we're sorted. So I'm posting all your calendars today. Um, so I'm getting ready to pop into town. I think I've got about 50 um, packages to post, so the person at the counter is going to absolutely love me. <laughs> I can just about what read, just about read what you're saying. My favourite band, <sighs> that is so hard. I mean, Ramstein's going to be up there. Um, oh God, I'll get back to you on that one. Oh, and while we're on the subject actually of posting calendars. So this is my calendar and I am showing it because it is all for charity. So I don't gain anything when you guys buy one of these. Um, every single penny is donated to uh, Mind. So yeah, I've got 15 left. Um, so yeah, let's just make some more money. <laughs> so yeah, if you think I keep going banging on about it, it's not actually for personal gain for a change. It is all for charity. And I put a different colour on my hair today, so it's getting slightly less pink. Um, in the daylight, it isn't actually really that pink at all, but on the camera, it looks pretty bright pink, doesn't it? Well done you, what a great charity. I know, it took me a long time to find the right charity. Um, but I'm really, since I chose Mind, I think a few people actually suggested Mind. Uh, so thank you, whoever you were. Um, because I haven't had a second thought since. I'm so pleased, it's the perfect one. Especially with the stuff that I've been through and I know a lot of you guys have been through similar things. So yeah, very good cause. Are 
I can never like get the right angle so you can see me <laughs> messing with my hair so hopefully you can see what's going on we're all right oh thank you guys I've had nothing but negative comments about the hair so far in real life um, my nana I rang my nana <laughs> And before uh, she even asked how I was, she said, oh, no, don't like the hair, like the green, hate the purple, it's horrible. So I was like, oh, well, <laughs> hello, Nana, how are you? So that's not good. And, yeah, quite a few people have just said they preferred the green. So, um, yeah, not good response so far, but to be honest, I'm preferring it, so I suppose that's all that matters. It is quite a bit shorter, so maybe they're dealing with the, the difference in that as well. But yeah, the poor thing is falling out everywhere. <laughs> Hello, Carl. You've got a package on its way today as well. All being well. Oh. So yeah, when I finally went to the hairdressers with my green hair, the whole thing was um, white and orange and oh, it was disgusting. I was so excited to get rid of it. Um, and I suspected we caused even more damage trying to get rid of it. So yeah, I'm not bald, but I almost ended up bald. So <laughs> one wrong move and that's it. Wigs for me. Love the graphics on your clothing. Oh, thank you again, Creep Street. Uh, you may be, <laughs> this one's made a second appearance, so um, I'm running out of outfits. So, hint, hint, Creep Street, you're going to need to send me some more so I can wear them in my live videos. <laughs> too many weird comments that I've seen but I can only really half see what's happening so <laughs> maybe it's selective viewing it is Ramstein I don't know why I've been in such a maybe it's the moving to Switzerland and thinking about having to learn German that's got me in the mood for uh, for Ramstein this week Pretty sure you had this one on the last time I caught your life. Exactly, or maybe it was two or three lives ago I wore this same outfit. I'm running out of outfits to wear. It has been washed, can I just... <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. It's clean. Do I speak much German? I'll be completely honest, I speak pre pretty much zero German at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a long, long process to get that started. The intention, obviously I'll have to study at um, a university that teaches um, postgraduate study in English as well. So it's looking like the plan will be Zurich, as I think that's the most multilingual. But if anybody, again still another year before I'm going to apply so if anybody wants to give me any tips the best universities for English speaking and um, hopefully I'll pick up as much German as possible once I get there the extent of my German knowledge is lyrics to Ramstein which I don't think is going to get me very far if anything they'd probably stop me from entering Switzerland if I started repeating Ramstein lyrics to them so yeah long long way to go <laughs> I'm still getting used to the lack of hair. I keep trying to straighten further than there is. What city did you go in Germany? I haven't been to Germany, it's Switzerland. Um, in Switzerland they speak French, Italian and German. Um, yeah, I haven't been to Germany. I think I would actually probably quite like to visit. That could be, and Austria as well. 
so that would be lovely once you know I get myself in there um, you know pop over to France for a baguette apparently a lot of people do their week shop over in uh, Austria and Germany because it's cheaper than in Switzerland so that could be fun do your grandparents still despise the Germans? Um, absolutely no idea. It's not come up in uh, in conversation. I'm gonna go with no, but I'll I'll make a, a point to ask them. Bit of a uh, light conversation over tea and biscuits. I oh, wish I could stay, but I should sleep. Good night, darling. I quite fancy going to bed. To be fair. Good nap would do me. Some beautiful places to visit in Switzerland, exactly. So when I visited last year, I fell in love. I did not want to come home. I just came back and looked at Manchester Airport and thought, get me back there now. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the places we visited were Lucerne and Zurich. We were going to go to Geneva, but we didn't get the chance. So... We're going back in September to try and do a bit more of a... We'll kind of do a longer stay and visit more places. So, yeah, please recommend cities for us to visit. Hello, new people. I'm surprised. We've still got 57 people here. Last time, as soon as people realised all I was doing was straightening my hair, I think we dropped to about 28. So we're, doing, we're not doing too bad for a girl straightening her hair. And to be fair, what you can't see underneath these socks, my legs are absolutely purple. My toenails were like a nude colour, they're bright hot pink now. My, oh I can't even show you my nails because they're too disgusting, but everything has turned purple. I had a purple face last week. So yeah, it's, um, bathroom is purple, towels are purple. Um, come to Athens for a change. I have been to Greece actually. Um, it's too hot for me. I prefer maybe scenery and it to be a little bit cooler. <laughs> I don't do well in hot weather. My hair does not survive. <laughs> from Greece hello what is your field of study okay that I'm gonna bother everybody now I am doing my master's in contemporary literature so anything um, post 1971 which has been tough actually because I have to be honest my favorite when studying in my undergrad was things like gothic literature like the yellow wallpaper and Frankenstein and um, it's been really tough not being able to incorporate any of those themes um, yeah so I'm not quite sure I did Frankenstein for my dissertation so I'm going to need to find a way of incorporating my love of the grim into contemporary literature so yeah any other tips on that Please stand up. It's going to be pretty hard for me to do my hair stood up, so I ain't got it. Yes, that is Ramstein. See, I could have done with just wearing a Ramstein bodysuit. That would have worked, and then that would have saved any questions. These sections of my hair are the worst, like ravaged by damage. There's hardly anything left. Why do people just come in Iraq? Like, right, what about Iraq? Why do I need to see that? I don't care. Say hello, greetings from Iraq, no problem, but just the country. I don't, I don't get it. Well, hello, people, anyway. Who's the best and most fun person you have had a shoot with? Um, ooh, good question. 
Do you mean though photographers or models? Because if you mean models, I've only ever shot with one other model, so Kesha will win, hands down. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you mean photographers, oh god, that's really hard. Um, James Beddows is really good fun. He's like he proper plays host and makes you feel really welcome and makes you avocado toast and chai tea and yeah, he's absolutely lovely. It's always just positive and. I come away from, from his like feeling really good about myself and excited about what we've done. So, yeah, James is up there. I feel bad now not mentioning others. It's, all the others are fun. <laughs> Kesha is from my hometown. Ah, Newcastle. She is such a babe. She's as lovely in person as you would think she is. See, my hair just looks bright pink on this video. I swear it is not very pink. I'll take a picture after. I'll do a selfie after and try and show you the colour. Good morning. What about your life goals? Oh, very deep question. Um, well, yeah, like I say, I want to move to Switzerland if I do well enough in my Masters. Um, I don't want to speak out of term because at the minute it could go either way. Um, I would like to study a PhD in Switzerland and that would take up to five years. So I haven't planned any further than that because everything could change. That, that would be in seven years time. So I've got a seven year plan. If that goes tits up, I have no plan. <laughs> Am I wearing heels today? No, <laughs> definitely not. I'm not even wearing slippers though. I've just got socks on today. Normally you can't really catch me out of my slippers. Sometimes I do naked Snapchat videos and I keep my slippers on. So yeah, if you ever spot them, just don't tell me. Don't ruin the facade. Do you ever go to gothic clubs? Are there even any left? Um, where I live in the north of England, there isn't a, a huge amount. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say no. It's really tough for me to find music I like when I go out. I just kind of have to go in and bear it. <laughs> Even this seems to turn my hands purple, just putting oil on my hair. God's sake. I have to like be extra careful, I don't get caught in a rainstorm now because my hair will just leak all over my coat. Which is not good. Hello new people just arriving. You have come to the most exciting live stream you've ever seen. <laughs> I've done one half of my hair. That's what you've missed. Tune in quicker next time, so you don't miss it. Oh no, I think we may have crashed. You've all kind of disappeared. Oh shit. I might have to end and come back. That'll be my shit internet. Okay, hold on guys, here we go. Oh, I'll be back. 